Hey, hey, and welcome to the Daily Witcher Girl Drea Love for Saturday. Wow, July 13th, 2019. It's hard to believe. We're in the teens. We're in the teens. So we are going to check in with God, take a few minutes from our busy schedules, and see what we may not be seeing, see what spirit needs to tell us, check in, and see what we need to focus on for the day. So we went with the Oracle Angels deck today, this big old chunky deck I got. And it's funny because the box is so big and the cards are so small. It's kind of a trippy deck, but that's okay. So we went with uh, the card, the pre-shuffle card. We got Muriel today. So this is where we are at to see what God wants us to hear today. We check in with the angels and they, they be like boy angels too. So, okay, here we go. So Muriel, so emotional energy. Muriel is the angel of June. He looks after the interest of people born under the zodiac sign of cancer. He is also one of the four rulers of the choir of dominions. He wears a green robe with large ornate belt around his waist. He holds a cross in his right hand and a pendant around his neck containing an image of a crab, the sign of cancer. The amorpha bearing the image of a crab and the crescent moon are also cancerian symbols. So the challenge, it says that we're going to be called upon to use your emotional energy in a positive way you may feel tired and lacking energy but you need to take you need to make your views known but wait but you but the need to make your views known is too strong okay let's say that again but the need to make your views known is too strong as long as you remain constructive positive nurturing and considerate the point of view will prevail so, um, our emotional energy, um, I know I've had a lot of my emotional energy being used lately. I've been called upon because I've been helping more and more clients. And actually it's interesting because it does get hard for me because people call me, people want me to read cards for them. People want me to do readings for them. People want me to coach them. And I really do get sucked into people's energy and I have to be very, very careful and very, very, very protective of myself and um, my own energy and what is mine and what is theirs and using it in a positive way and not getting like bratty because I do find that when people try to basically throw their stuff up on me, which is what a lot of people inadvertently do, I sometimes I get a little funny um, or I get my boundaries are real clear so I get a little like uh, this is my boundary don't cross this line this is my stuff that's your stuff so I get like that but I I guess I'm being called to use my emotional energy in more of a positive way um, and um, I need to make sure that I'm constructive positive and nurturing and considering the point of view of everybody so I think having clear boundaries and understanding um, where my step is and where other people's step is, I'm more likely to be able to assist in any way that I'm being called to, in any way that either spirit wants me to help or their spirit needs help in. So trying to not be too much of me on people and trying to emotionally maybe be what people need instead of just being me on people because I can be pretty harsh and rash. Yeah, and just use it in a positive way. So, um, and just making sure my my boundaries, my boundaries, are, yeah, those are good too. But my boundaries are good. You know, we all have a lot of uh, boundary issues and, and a lot of unclearness on what that looks like. And I think that helping people, giving people emotional energy can be real challenging because boundaries um, can be not clear. They're not a physical thing that we can see with our, our eye. So it's a, a thing that's out there in that invisible world that we have to feel our way around. So knowing our boundaries and who we are and being in touch with that so we can help people in whatever way we're being called to help is probably going to best serve us all. So as always, I love sharing my journey with you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, checking in with this little goofy angel, Muriel. Talk to us about sharing a little bit more generously and being a little bit kinder in a positive way and spreading that love. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share to somebody who you feel may need some love and some healing today from your girl, Drea Love. Check my website out at drealove.com. You can book coaching appointments, book readings, all kind of good stuff, resources. All my socials are on there as well. And as always, I thank you guys for hanging with me. I hope you make it a beautiful day. Peace and in with love, your girl, Drea Love.